Hey there, welcome to my channel Shots with Sapna Honda. What exactly is Toda embroidery? Inspired by the elements of nature in the Nilgiri hills, women of Toda tribe express their artistic heritage via embroidery using black and red woolen threads on the white cotton fabric. Intricate form of needle weaving which is done on cotton fabric without any drawing or markings of any kind. Last week while travelling to Uti Kunur and the tribal areas of Koda Nad, I witnessed some of these women using woolen threads of black, red and sometimes blue to create exquisite pieces of embroidery on the white coarse cloth. These were pieces of art. I felt the strong need to revive the Toda craft and to preserve the exquisite traditional embroidery. Accurate in creating these geometric pieces of art that they almost look like fine pieces of art. I was so impressed by the darning stitch done from the back of the fabric that I bought myself a stole. The origin of embroidery known as pugur or flower in the native tongue is yet to be established but it reflects the influence of European settlers in the 13th and the 14th centuries. The distinctive feature of the embroidery is that the patterns are based on thread counts unlike modern embroidery which is dependent on set patterns and drawing. What is even more interesting is that Toda women without modern numerical literacy skillfully embroider patterns with geometric precision without any external aids such as scales or patterns. Yet another feature of the embroidery that distinguishes it from modern embroidery is that all the worst side is equally beautiful with no telltale signs of hanging threads and knots. Naturally, this requires significant time and effort but the beauty of the final product fully justifies it. I just bought a beautiful stole from one of the women who was embroidering right in front of me. I couldn't resist it and I actually flaunted it right away in the hills. I think this is a stunning piece to carry whenever you're traveling. One of the features of this embroidery is that embroidery is done on specific fabrics with specific colors. The primary colors used are red and black and the thickness of the thread ensures that the pattern is finished with an embossed look. Traditionally, the handwoven white base cloth and the threads were supplied by Chetiars who bought the material from the plains. The Todas have adopted to changes in the textile industry and have started using materials produced by power looms and two ply woolen thread for embroidery. What is beautiful is that there are no pattern books for Toda embroidery. The patterns reflect the creativity of the Toda women who conjure up a pattern in their minds and transfer it to a piece of cloth. Most of the inspiration is derived from nature, day-to-day -day life activities, mythological stories and the colors of the flora and fauna of the Nilgiris. Each embroidery tells the story of a particular region. The buffalo horn is an important motive because the buffalo is sacred for the Todas. Other motives used are the sun, the moon, the stars, the flowers, mountains, valleys, snakes, rabbits and boxes. The discovery of Indian Institute of Science has stated that Todas have been staying in the Nilgiris for almost 3,500 years. This pastoral tribe has thus given Tamil Nadu pride in a unique art form. The embroidery acquired the geographical indication tag in 2013. Running stitched used by the black, blue and red woolen thread on the coarse white cloth with intricate designs is available online. You can get your embroidered wool cotton sling pouch, cotton pouches, shawls, stoles, linen kurtas, laptop pouches, beautiful kurtas amalgamated with Toda embroidery. Everything is available online. For more such updates, follow this space with Sapna Handa.